The previous release of the firmware for BHR uh, battery diagnostic tool had a little problem. It was defaulting to the um, default I squared C pins instead of the ones that I assigned. So some of you that flashed it couldn't connect to the battery. That was the problem. The fix has been already released. Uh, download the firmware again and, and flash it again. Now, how do you flash it? Um, you might... It, it might seem like it's complex, but I think I made it uh, super easy. But you do need to have, um, well, some skills. Uh, not a lot, though. Uh, so let me quickly show you. I think I improved it with this release now. So the newest release will look like this. Um, definitely check out the readme file. Uh, but how do you flash it? Number one, you need the driver. You get the driver from uh, Espressive site, uh, CP. 210x right and uh, this is the usb to uart bridge install this driver it should work on other drivers as well but um i recommend just going uh, directly to the espressive and downloading it here once downloaded uh, what i do i just use uh, git bash because i like it and I'm on Windows, but it really doesn't matter because the, the Git bash will process the, the shell files. Uh, so we can just do flash firmware Linux sh. Run the script. Uh, you need Python. If you don't have Python, it'll tell you that you need to install Python. Uh, the first run, it'll install some dependencies because it needs uh, ESP tool, obviously. And just select which COM port. COM7. Hit OK, and you're done. Now, this might happen. Uh, so it says that it couldn't connect to the device. This is normal. I talked about it a little bit in the on the stream, but it just hit it again. Select the port again. But this time, as soon as you hit Enter, hit Reset on the device, like so. I clicked it a few times. Uh, the reason for that is that we're also using the uh, the same interface that we're using for programming. The, the, the code on the device is also using it, so it's kind of interfering. So sometimes it's uh, it's the matter of timing. So if it doesn't work, just uh, restart it and just press reset on the, on the device. If you're using new ESP32, that's not going to be your problem. So that's method number one. Let's, uh, let's confirm that it works. Let's connect to COM7. And we have our battery. So everything's working. So now, since uh, you probably don't have a git a bash or you don't, don't use shell, that's perfectly fine. Just uh, hit command R and, and hit CMD, right? So your regular a command and um, command line interface on Windows. Navigate uh, to the directory. And in this case, we're just going to do flash uh, firmware windows.bat. Exact same procedure. It works exactly the same. Select the COM port. Hit OK. You may need to hit uh, reset, but this time I didn't need to re hit reset. And it's flashed. Now, there is a web flasher as well, and which uh, personally I don't use. But if you want to use it, Let's do uh, git bash again over here. And you just want to start a, a start web flasher, either sh or bat, depending on what you use, and navigate to this address. That will display the, um, the web flasher. You can select the COM port, connect, and it should connect, and, and you can just uh, do you can erase the device, sure, and that should even be easier. And this also should work, but you get no, no feedback. That's why I don't use this one, because we don't know what's going on right now. Is it working? Is it not working? We don't know. You can see the flashing LED on the device, and you can kind of assess whether it's actually flashing or not. Um, but again, I don't. I, I really don't like the the web flasher. So you might ask yourself, why why did you distribute it with the web flasher? Well, I figured it's better than than not having it. But I say just use the use the script. 
it should be easy it should work oh and after our last flashing we didn't check if it still works so let's confirm and it still works everything is fine so that's how you flash it and um, the devices are coming I will have uh, the devices pre-flashed and, and connected and everything assembled. And all you have to do is just uh, connect the wires to the battery and, and connect the USB cable. That's it. But that is still still coming. I'm still waiting for the devices. All righty. Hopefully, hopefully that was useful. If you have any questions, uh, hit me up on Discord. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for supporting the project. And I shall see you guys in the next one.